we are back with Solve It with Sir June. Today, we are going to discuss about rational exponents and changing rational or fractional exponents to radicals and vice versa. When we talk about rational exponents, these are fractional exponents. So, an expression with rational exponent can be written as a raised to m over n. So, if you can see, this expression has a rational exponent since the exponent is written in fraction form. So, just like what we have in exponential expressions, the basic concepts, a here still stands for the base, while m over n is the exponent. To be specific, the rational exponent or the fractional exponent. So let us simplify rational exponents using the laws of exponents. Let us have the first item. 3 raised to 2 thirds times 3 raised to 1 third. If you can see this is an expression with rational exponents or fractional exponents. How are we going to simplify this example? If you can see the bases are equal. And at the same time, we are to multiply the two expressions. So we can use the product rule. So the product rule states that if we are multiplying exponential expressions, we just need to copy the base and add the exponent. So that will be 2 thirds plus 1 third. So how are we going to add 2 thirds plus 1 third? If you can see, they do have the same denominators. They are similar fractions. So the rule will be if the fractions have the same denominators or they are similar fractions, we just need to copy the common denominator, which is 3, then add the exponent. So 2 plus 1, that will be 3. So the result is 3 over 3. Simplifying it further, 3 over 3 is just equal to 1. So therefore, kapag sinimplify natin itong expression na to, we will now have 3 raised to 1. 3 raised to 1 is just equal to 3. So therefore, the simplest form of the given exponential expression is 3. So let us now proceed with example number 2. Still, in simplifying exponential expressions with a specific rational exponents. So we are given with 2b raised to 2 fifths times 3b raised to 1 half. So again, we are multiplying exponential expressions. So we can probably use the product rule. But before we use the product rule, let us first multiply the numbers or the numerical coefficients. So those are 2 and 3. So 2 times 3. Then if you can see, may parehas na base. Ano yung parehas na base? We have here B. So therefore, we need to copy the common base B then what are we going to do with the exponents? Since we are dealing with product rule, we are to add the exponents. So that will be 2 fifths plus 1 half. This time, we are not given with similar fractions. Pero ang tawag dito ay the similar fractions since the denominators are not the same. So what are we going to do? We can apply the LCD or we can simply use the butterfly method. So, paano ba si butterfly method? So, we just need to multiply. So, just like parang cross multiplication. So, 2 times 2, that will be 4. Then, 1 times 5, that will be 5. So, yung unang product is 4. Yung pangalawa ay 5. So, we just need to add them since ang operation dito ay addition. Sir, pa paano na kuha si 10? We just need to multiply the denominators. So, 5 times 2, yun na yung denominator ng ating bagong fraction. So, if you are going to simplify this one, 4 plus 5, that will be 9. So, we now have 9 over 10. Let us simplify. 2 times 3, that will be 6. And then, we have B. What will be our exponent now? Yun na kuha natin kanina, which is 9 over 10. So, therefore, the simplest form of the given expression is 6B raised to 9 over 10. How about this example? There. 152 raised to 1 half. X raised to negative 2 raised to negative 2 thirds. So, ang unang gagawin natin is to apply power of a product rule. Wherein, 
the exponent outside the parentheses will be multiplied to each of the exponents inside the parentheses. Ito meron sa atin dito, 1 half and negative 2. There. Then, we just need to copy the first uh, base, which is 2. Then, let us multiply 1 half and negative 2 thirds. How are we going to multiply fractions? Pag nag-multiply tayo ng fractions, we multiply numerator to numerator, denominator to the denominator. And if you can see, we are to multiply a positive fraction to a negative fraction. So therefore, the result must be a negative fraction. So let us do multiplication. So 1 times 2, that will be 2. And this will be our numerator. To obtain the denominator of the fraction, 2 times 3, that will be 6. Negative 2 over 6 can still be simplified. If you can see, pwede pa silang i-divide by a common factor, except 1, of course. So what is the greatest common factor? Is the GCF is 2. So simplifying it further, we now have negative 1 third. So etong si negative 1 third ang magiging exponent ni 2. Doon naman tayo sa x. So si x, we need to multiply negative 2 and negative 2 thirds. So negative 2 can be written as negative 2 over 1 para hindi tayo manito, para magkaroon siya na denominator. Again, we are to multiply the fractions negative times a negative fraction will result to a positive fraction. So let us now multiply the numerators. 2 times 2, that will be 4. Then 1 times 3, that will be 3. So if you are going to simplify this one, it can be written as 4 thirds. So therefore, the exponent of x here is positive 4 thirds. Again, patulad ng sinabi natin before, when we are having a negative exponent, it is not yet in its simplest form. Therefore, we need to apply our negative exponent rule. What is the negative exponent rule? We need to get the reciprocal of the expression that has the negative exponent. And after getting the reciprocal, we just need to change the exponent to positive. So, si 2 raised to negative 1 third lang naman ang nakaraise sa negative exponent. So, therefore, you just copy x raised to 4 thirds. Then, get the reciprocal of this one. So, therefore, it will be on the denominator already. So, now we have 2 raised to 1 third. This 1 third now will become positive. So, therefore, this is our final answer. Let us now have another example. We are given with a raised to 2 thirds divided by a raised to 1 fifth. We are to divide this exponential expression. So using the quotient rule, ano nga ba yung quotient rule? When we are dividing exponential expressions with the same base, ayan, we do have the same base, we just need to copy the common base, which is a in this case, then we need to subtract the exponents. That will be the exponent of the numerator, minus the exponent of the denominator. Then, let us apply the butterfly method in order for us to subtract this one because these are the similar fractions. Okay, we copy A. Then, multiply 2 times 5, that will be 10. So, keep that in mind. Minus, since we are to subtract, then 3 minus 1, that will be 3. So, that will be 10 minus 3 over 15. Again, paano nga ba nakuha si 15? So, that will be 3 times 5. So, 15. 10 minus 3, that will be 7. So, therefore, the final answer will be A raised to 7 over 15. So, ganun lang mag-simplify ng expressions with rational exponents. So, this time, let us rewrite rational exponents to radical. So, when we are given with an expression with rational exponent, we have a raised to m over n, it can be transformed to radical. So how? So we need first to have the radical symbol, of course. Then, we get the base. And that will be put inside the radical symbol. Then, this denominator of the fractional exponent will be put outside the radical symbol, in this side of the radical symbol. And that will be called as the index. So, saan mapupunta si M? Yung numerator. So, that will come along with A. 
book yung race ng ating event. So, anong tawag kay a race to end year? We will call it as running man. Again, CN will be put outside the radical symbol and we will be putting it smaller and that will be called as index. Then, after getting A or the base, we need to put the numerator of the fractional exponent inside or kailangan magkasama sila ng base. To be precise, siya yung exponent no base. And this pool will be called as the radical. And it can also be written as the quantity and truth of A raised to M. By the way, we are going to read this one as the end root of A raised to M. So let us have an example. Let us have x raised to 2 thirds. How are we going to transform this one to radical? So put first the radical symbol. Then, we copy the base and put it inside the radical symbol. Next, the denominator will go outside the radical symbol and will be called as the index. Then, the numerator of the fractional exponent will go along with our base and will serve as the exponent. And this rule will be called as the radical. If we are going to simplify this further, it can be rewritten as the cube root of x squared. So next, let us rewrite the following rational exponents to radical. In this example, it is only m which is raised to a rational exponent. So therefore, we just need to copy 2. We need first to put the radical symbol, then we put the base, which is m, inside the radical symbol. Then, this denominator of the fractional exponent will go outside the radical symbol, and that will serve as our index. Then, this numerator of the fractional exponent will go inside kasama ni m. There. So, if you are going to simplify this further, we now have 2. This is fifth root of m cubed. Okay, so this will now be our final answer. So let us have another example. How about we have quantity 2a raised to 2 thirds. If you can see the full expression including 2 and a are raised to 2 thirds for a fractional exponent. So how are we going to do that? Again, we put the radical symbol. Then, we get the exponent and put it inside the radical symbol. Next, the denominator of the fractional exponent will go outside and will be called as the index. So this is probably cube root. Next, this numerator, where are we going to put that? So on sa loob ng radical symbol, siya ngayon yung magiging exponent ng ating base, which is 2a. So therefore, applying the loss of radical to the specific power of a, product, we need to multiply this 2 to the exponent inside the parentheses. So, wala namang exponent. It is automatic that kapag walang exponent, 1 yung exponent. There. So, multiplying, we now have 2 squared, 8 squared. And if you are going to simplify further, the final answer will now be cube root of 4, a squared. How about if we are given with radicals? And we are going to transform it to rational exponents. Baliktad naman. Halimbawa, we are given with 7th root of x squared. Ang una namang gawin natin, let us get the variable x. There. Let us put parentheses so that we will not be confused. Then, this 2 will go in the numerator. And 7 here will go in the denominator. So, if we are going to rewrite 7th root of x squared to expression with rational exponents, it will be x raised to 2 sevenths. Let us now proceed to another example. We now have the 4th root of the cube of the binomial x minus 3. So, how are we going to do this one or transform to expression with rational exponent? Kuhain muna natin si x minus 3. Then, this exponent kasama dun sa radical will be the numerator. And this index will go in the denominator. So, therefore, if we are going to rewrite the expression to an expression with rational exponent, it will be quantity x minus 3 raised to 
Korean sports. So I hope that you've learned something for today about the concept of rational exponents as well as changing rational or fractional exponents to radicals and vice versa. If you've learned something for today, do not forget to hit like, share, and hit the notification bell for more. And if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. So this is Sir Jude. Good day.